All right. Hey, y'all. How's it going? I'm Joy. That is Steve. And we are back with the NFL Predictions versus week four already. Yeah. Coming off a real rough week last week. Oh, my God. Those splits. I'm still... We had nine. I'm still blown away by that. Um, so how did you do record-wise uh, for the... The week, week from, yeah, from the, I was going to say the week from uh, the word that I actually don't say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, called the week from hell. Yeah, there. thank you. Yeah. So, uh, how'd you fare? Uh, I finished uh, six and ten there. Oof. Uh, I think that's the same thing that SDS finished at, actually. So that's not that bad. Um, personally, I went nine and seven. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't quite as bad. Uh, thank you, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Again, um, I was telling John that it reminds me a lot of last year because Tennessee was a lone split game for me a lot of the times in um, the previous season as well. So we'll see if uh, there's still my good luck charm. But yeah, so okay. with uh, with that in mind, our standings are a lot more interesting now than they were last week's episode. There are only four games, I believe, that separate first and last place. Mm -hmm. So here we go. In first place still is SDS at 25, 22, and 1. And then in a three-way tie for second, we have Steve, Buff, and myself at 23, 24, and 1. And then John is in last place currently with 21, 26, and 1. Yeah. So it is uh, definitely a much closer matchup than it was. True. Uh, like I was telling you last night there, uh, after uh, last week's performance, I was worried that I was going to end up dead last. Yeah. Yeah. But no. And then I sent him um, the updated standings because I usually get my standings from John and then I double check the standings because he's like my uh, my statistician of uh, the group for me. So he uh, keeps track of everything. So I usually get my stats from him. So I, I sent Steve the photo of it. And he was like, oh, wow, I, I am not last. I honestly thought I would be. And I'm like, no, it, everyone had a bad week, pretty much. Um, there were so many splits. It was insane. So yeah. let's just get on into it and uh, start talking about the week that was. Yeah. And uh, what do you want to talk about first? Our regrets? Sure. Because we, we should have a lot of them. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, what was your top regret of the week? Okay, uh, mine would be, uh, let me see, uh, I would have to say picking the Raiders there to uh, beat the Titans there. That was... Yeah, not not believing in the Henry. I, I was very tempted to not go with Tennessee just because of how they've been performing as of late, but oh. I, I refused to give up on Derrick Henry. I mean, I just, I don't know, I still think that he is the best back in the league and so like I was tempted to sit him in my fantasy as well just because he was going to face a uh, a fairly good run defense uh this week but I I can't I can't give up on the guy so I'm I'm trusting in my uh my birth team <laughs> I guess there you go. yeah mm -hmm. um for me yeah for me my regret uh I don't know I have I have a couple so I'm just trying to decide uh -huh. which one <sighs> yeah is is my top regret like what what wouldn't I choose again uh -huh. um honestly probably the Jaguars whoa good one there yeah because that one was um like I should have called that as an upset yeah well, true to be fair I should have called the Colts game as an upset as well because I had a funny feeling that yeah. they were going to finally get their stuff together but uh -huh. I didn't yeah obviously with the Chargers with uh, Justin Herbert's uh, injured ribs there and now they, they lost uh, Joey Bosa and uh, and uh, one other defensive player really? yeah crap I should have checked on the injury report before I made my picks, but that's for a later on in the episode kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the Jaguars have been surprisingly decent so far this year. Um, they shut out the Colts in week two. 
-hmm. and they nearly beat uh, the commanders in their first week out so wow. i should have anticipated them to do something good against a damaged uh, chargers team but i just i didn't i was just trusting in uh the talent that was and uh, that came back to bite me but what was the highlight of the week then so what was your game of the week yeah uh with apologies to you I i'm going to say the bears there with the last second field goal win to uh beat the texans yeah you know what that one was on my list as my what the frick game of the week <laughs> but uh, i uh, i won't go ahead and discuss that one because mm -hmm. honestly I almost had that as one of my regrets because I only went with the Texans because of my disdain for the Bears. Mm -hmm. And I really shouldn't let my emotions rule my picks. Yeah. But wherever Chicago is involved, I kind of tend to do that. So maybe yeah. one of these days I'll learn my lesson, but mm -hmm. I doubt it. <laughs> um, my game of the week would probably be... Um, you know what? Honestly, one of the only ones that I actually watched was the Detroit game. And the mm -hmm. fact that they came this close to pulling that off yeah. was really, really sad. But they made a heck of a game out of it. And they proved that they can uh, they can hang in the league with pretty much anybody. Because coming that close with Minnesota, yeah. very impressive. And then also the uh, Falcons and Seahawks game was very good for me. Yeah. So now what was your shock? Of the week Shocker, uh obviously uh it'd be the be the colts uh beating the chiefs there that was the hugest shock that one was pretty big yeah um again i i should have seen it coming and i'm kind of mad that i didn't uh go out on a limb and actually pick that because i was tempted to yeah. um but yeah it's just like nobody ever would have expected that i don't think yeah. Um, although there was a lot of, because uh, we have a sports grid that we watch on TV a lot, and everybody on there was saying that if you're looking for an upset pick, this is the game to do it in. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, shoot, because I was going to, but then I didn't. And then, turns out I should have. Um, exactly. For me, my surprise is either going to be the Bucks game. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's not. I got a perfect one. The 49ers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and buddy. and Jimmy Garoppolo giving that game away by yeah. stepping out of the end zone, pulling a Dan Orlovsky, mm -hmm. and getting a safety on himself, is mm -hmm. what cost them that game. Because the, and then they only lost eleven to ten. Yeah, like they they kept as far as I know, based on like the scores and stuff, they kept the Broncos out of the end zone. True. And that safety is what cost them. So to me, that was my shock because like. I, I expected a lot more because I believe in the video, I even said that I was trusting Jimmy GQ mm -hmm. and then he does this. So thanks for that. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Yeah. So we'll see if uh, he learns his lesson and actually can put some stuff together mm -hmm. for the Monday night game this week, but yeah. that's going to be a tough task. All right. So that, Settles our look back. You ready to get going on week four and get into this mess Absolutely. of a schedule? Absolutely. I am. Let the insanity begin. Yeah, exactly. Let the insanity begin. I am terrified. Let me make sure I can actually pull my uh, my games up this time because I was stupid in the last video and didn't do it in time. Okay. Uh, first up, we have Miami, who had a lot of drama coming out of the Bills game with what they did with the Tua situation. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that, but if y'all are in the know, you know. Yeah. And they will be traveling to Cincinnati to take on yeah. the resurging, I hope, Bengals. Yeah. Obviously, uh, nobody saw Dolphins uh, upsetting the Bills there on Sunday there. Um, I think some people did. I'm not quite sure um, if it was a loss that we all had or if somebody was a lone game on that. Mm -hmm. the, the way that that game ended, though... Uh, I, I feel really, really bad for the kid. I'm, I'm trying hard not to go into uh, go into it all, but yeah. I feel really, really bad. Yeah, and, and I uh, just hope the best going forward. And with the Bengals, it, it was a win over the Jets. There, need we say more? I mean, yeah. To be fair, it, it's it's just the Jets. Uh, they won, understandably, twenty-seven to twelve. Yeah. So you know, 
-hmm. it wasn't really uh it was a decisive victory but it wasn't really a uh, massive you know statement kind of win yeah but this True. one might be because at least miami's uh miami's dolphins wow okay good job me yeah. miami's uh defense is yeah. pretty good yeah yeah, and uh, obviously, uh, Dolphins are are trying to trying to make it for no one. Uh, I believe they can do it there. So uh, my picks the Dolphins to uh, beat the Bengals. Understandable. Um, I think that on a short week, with the uh, quote unquote back injury that they're now saying that Tua suffered, I think that it's going to be a really short week, and it's going to be hard for him to be one hundred percent going in. And so I'm mm -hmm. taking a risk and going with the home team on this one, and I'm taking Cincinnati. Okay. So, so going back to first split. again, first game, first split. Oh. That's uh, that's uh, that's a great sign going forward. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Next up, moving on to Sunday. Now we have the Vikings going to New Orleans. Uh, obviously, this game is in the top. Tottenham and uh, England there. Oh, it's in England. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's, yeah. it's the it's the morning game then. It's the Sunday morning. Yeah, true. Well, uh, that'll be interesting then. Yeah. So uh, obviously, uh, question is, uh, uh, what, how will the two teams uh, do do in a neutral site game there? Yeah, those are always fun because I mean it, it completely removes any kind of home field advantage you would have. So it's truly just. Talent to talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, obviously, the uh, question is uh, how how the teams uh, how the quarterbacks re react to being there. Uh, Kirk Cousins obviously there with the uh, uh, little iffy there uh, one week, and then then he, he plays terrible in the next game next week there. <laughs> Yeah, I will say that he, he does kind of have a tendency to have some inconsistencies every now and then, but I think it's also more just the team itself is more inconsistent. Like, sometimes they'll show up and be completely lights out, and then other times they can barely beat Detroit, you know? So yeah. it's uh, it all depends on which, which team we're going to get. But yeah. I think they have a lot more talent on their roster than New Orleans does right now, especially mm -hmm. with the injuries to Jameis Winston. I, like... He he's got some issues on the field. Yeah, and uh, and uh, thing thing with James Winston, which uh, which him is going to show up will be the good good James Winston or will be the bad one. True. True. Both of these teams are very uh, hit or miss. Exactly there. Yeah. Yeah. With me there, uh, I think I'm going to go with the Saints there to uh, beat Kirk Cousins and the uh, Vikings. <laughs> God, we split again. Oh my goodness. Here we go. All right. You know what? We're doing this. It's fine. Last week went fine. Everything is fine. I'm taking Minnesota, unfortunately, over New Orleans just because of the injuries and the uh, past few weeks of performances. I think that Minnesota is coming in healthier and more well-rounded than New Orleans is. And unfortunately, NFC North rival, I have to go with them, even though I don't want to. Mm -hmm. But at least they're the uh, the middle brother. Somebody mm -hmm. that's just kind of... You, you kind of can root for them and not feel bad about it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, as, as an NFC North person, I, I don't feel bad rooting for Minnesota. The other okay. two teams, forget yeah. about it. All right, so now officially... Back in stateside, uh, the Sunday afternoon games can begin. This might split too. We've got uh, the Browns and Atlanta. True, they're uh, obviously uh, the Browns there with a huge win on Thursday night against the Steelers, and uh, you have the have the Falcons there with a huge win over the Seattle Seahawks there. Yeah, that was a really close game. So I, I was concerned because that was a pretty good split last week. But yeah. they did come away with the uh, Battle of the Birds victory. Uh -huh. And then... Yeah. Um, the... Oh, sorry, Dino. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Dino. I don't even remember who he would have chosen. Yeah. You're, you're more of a Falcon fan, I would think. You're very... 
you're very mad all the darn time yeah so he's he's, he's probably an atlanta fan i don't know i'll have to ask him later um and then the the browns game was uh nick chubb 100 percent, and that was because tj watt is not with them otherwise those running lanes wouldn't have been available i don't think so this is going to be a very interesting game i think uh based on the um output of chubb versus mm-hmm. the rush defense of atlanta which according to the stats that i looked at was not that great so that's kind of my logic on this one and i am personally taking cleveland on the road against my better judgment but per my past i can't really trust atlanta so Uh we split again didn't we yeah i took thousands at home god dang it (laughs) all right all right shall we go for the record you know what we very well might because there's a lot of games on this list that i could see going either way uh this one is not one of them thankfully we have an nfc least battle with the commanders going to dallas yeah uh, obviously uh the the cowboys impressed me there uh monday night with a huge win over the giants there even though i went went with the the g-man there mm-hmm. my better judgment and uh, <laughs> and that and it, it bit me in the you know what yeah I, I really like cooper rush and the things that he's been doing uh mm-hmm. since he stepped up i think he's a very very good backup and sure. like they haven't really missed much of a step um papa agron could uh, confirm that because yeah. he's uh he is my cowboys fan in the community so uh he can let me know how exactly they're doing with a rush as opposed to Dak. but it doesn't look like they're doing that bad like sure. production wise hasn't fallen all that much and um, also, thank you, Dallas, for giving the toss to C.D. Lamb and yeah. not Ezekiel Elliott, yeah. because that is what saved me in my fantasy league against Buff, because I only won by six points. And if right. Ezekiel Elliott would have gotten that touchdown, yeah. I would have lost. Yeah. So thank you for that. Sure. And, uh, and obviously the commanders, they're... Uh... They lost a big one to the Eagles there. So. Yeah. Um. Props to them for getting the two point conversion though. Yeah. That's that's something you can be uh you can be happy about. That doesn't happen often, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. But the, I'm worried about that that Dallas there because uh, uh you know if uh he starts to struggle there then uh, who's to say in probably a week or two uh the the Dak Prescott might be coming back there. Yeah, I, I do think, I mean, as long as they can just, like, keep their momentum going until he does get back, then I think that they'll be, you know, solid for this season. Um, I think he was only expected to be out another week, maybe two, because of his thumb. Yeah. So we might be expecting him back week six. Yeah, could be sooner. Yeah, could could be week five. We're not exactly sure. No. But uh, I think this is a good week to uh, lead into him potentially coming back. Because it is a lot softer of a game. Now, admittedly, this could be upset potential because Washington's kind of due, I uh-huh. think, for a good win. Um, uh-huh. But I also don't think that that's going to come on the arm of Carson Wentz at all. So, oh. personally, I'm taking the boys. And I'll agree with you. And uh, our, our per- first uh, unanimous pick. Hallelujah. <laughs> we actually didn't split all the way down the middle on this darn thing we uh we actually didn't split i'm very happy with that yeah. all right next up i'm i don't think we'll split because pretty much everyone uh is in agreement when i was doing my research on it but we'll see uh-huh. Uh-huh. we have seattle and detroit yeah uh, obviously uh seattle struggled last week against the uh, atlanta there they did. Uh, they still only lost by four, which is not bad. And also, ironically, the same uh, point differential as Detroit lost to Minnesota. So there's yeah. there's a little a little nod to the stats. Yeah. But uh, hopefully, uh, Derek Goff and the Lions there uh, may get their act together there. The question is, is uh, Deontay, Deontay Swift uh, healthy there? As far as I know, uh, DeAndre Swift is not going to play. 
because uh, Jamal Williams is supposed to be taking the uh, the brunt of the snaps as running back. But good news, Lions fans can breathe a little bit easier. Amon Ross St. Brown should be good to go from his ankle injury. So as long as they have that weapon out there, I think they'll be okay. Yeah, there we go. There. So uh, I bet you we'll, we'll be in agreement with this one, and I'll take your favorite team. I'll take the Lions to uh, beat the Seahawks. Yay, we agree. Again, good. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm not drinking the Kool Aid. Um, mm-hmm. I've uh, I've learned not to like the taste, but <laughs> um, but I do definitely agree that I think that they can win that one. Um, their, their defense is fairly solid. Uh, I I did a risk, and I'm actually starting Jared Goff in my ESPN league instead of Joe Burrow, mm-hmm. because I think that Joe Burrow is going to have a harder time with Miami's defense than Jared Goff will have with Seattle's defense. So. We'll see how that all goes. Mm-hmm. Next up is the one that I am concerned with. Mm-hmm. We have the Colts Uh-oh. hosting Tennessee. Yeah, this this one's going to be a concerning one there. Yeah, obviously with the Colts' uh, huge win over Kansas City there last week. Uh-huh. And then Tennessee's thankful win uh, by two over uh, Vegas. Yeah, exactly there. Now these these two teams there are going. This is a statement game there to uh to uh establish first place in the uh, AFC South there. Yeah, exactly. This is right now anyway for the division. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Which is still funny to me that Jacksonville is technically still in the conversation, mm-hmm. but we're not going to even entertain yeah. that idea right now. It's it's Tennessee uh, and Indy for yeah. the division. Sure. Uh. I hope uh, Derek Henry Henry will uh, rush for more yards this week. I, God, I hope so. <laughs> he is like my uh, my workhorse in both of my leagues, so I really need him to do well. Um, the only problem, and John pointed this out to me, I believe Indianapolis has the third-ranked rush defense of the league. Yeah. So it ain't looking good for his chances, and. If you're going to go based on, like, QB, I would definitely trust Matt Ryan more than Ryan Tannehill. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to look at a whole team composition, Mm -hmm. I still got to give my nod to Derrick Henry, and I don't care if it's another alone game. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Tennessee Mm -hmm. again. Okay. Uh, So uh, I'll agree with you, and I'll take the Titans as well. uh, Okay. Uh, You and I are the only ones that did so yay at least i'm not alone yeah that'll be helpful there we go all right next up we have the bears boo Mm -hmm. going Mm -hmm. to the giants yeah i bet nobody saw saw the bears uh coming out on top against the texans last week except for uh your surely Mm. yeah i i uh i certainly didn't but again i i didn't just because i couldn't and I didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Like I, I could feasibly see where they would, but mm-hmm. uh, I didn't want to. Yeah. Honestly, Lovey Smith going back to Chicago as coach of the Texans, I thought would have been a much bigger story, and it would have gone differently. Mm-hmm. But apparently, no. No, well, it wasn't there. No. And obviously, uh, the Giants there. Uh... A statement game after that huge loss to the Cowboys there. Yeah, they they do need a good win here, don't they? Yeah. Kind of get back on track a little bit because now they're no longer undefeated, but they still are two and one. Yeah. So they still are kind of fighting for some kind of a foothold in their division. True. Sure. Sure. But and uh, I think I'll stick with the Giants to beat the Bears this week. Same here. Um, again, more just similar logic to last week when it was the Texans and Bears game. If I see it's close and I have a chance of going against the Bears, mm-hmm. I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking the Giants on that one. Um, and uh, to have more like of an actual reason, Saquon Barkley. Like he's he's doing very very well. So I will uh, go with them. And I believe I heard that the Bears. Top wide receiver was also hurt. Yeah. So that's kind yeah. of leading more towards uh, the Giants' favor as well. 
staying in the east now we have the eagles hosting the ever surprising jacksonville jaguars i call this the gardner Minshew uh bowl <laughs> even though uh Minshew's uh back up for the eagles yeah maybe what they'll do is it'll be so far out of hand that mm -hmm. they'll let Minshew take over in the fourth quarter just to say that he did <laughs> or or they'll let him do the victory formation snaps at the end of the game I think that would be a nice little insult. One can only hope. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I do hope so. I hope that it is so, so out of hand. Yeah. That but, he has a chance to play. That's true. But uh, this one could be a close, little bit of a close game there because of uh, you never know uh, how powerful the Jags can be. Yeah, we've learned that over the last two weeks, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, Eagles, they're... Uh, Obviously, uh, they're sh sh showing, showing a lot of fight in that a NFC East there. They are, for sure. It's a, it's a, it's a dogfight in the least right now to see who's going to actually be number one. And yeah. the Eagles are definitely staking their claim. So mm -hmm. they're uh, also not really much of a wishy-washy team either. Like, they're very consistent and strong right. so far this year. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they handle Classic the uh, ferocity of the cats yeah but but uh with me there i think uh the eagles will continue their undefeated streak and uh will beat the jags i agree uh the idea that they're undefeated makes me kind of think that the jags might pop off and upset them yeah. but i'm i'm in agreement 100 percent. i'm taking the eagles it just makes good sense mm -hmm. yeah. all right next up another AFC battle with uh, the Jets going to the Steelers yeah. who honestly need a Jets game right about now. Yeah. <laughs> they, they need one of these to go get some yeah. uh, momentum back. Yeah, obviously to get the fans off of uh, Mitch Trubisky back there. Look, I done told y'all this wasn't the guy for you, but you didn't listen. And now Mike Tomlin is so stubborn that he's actually risking his streak of having a uh, not losing season mm -hmm. because he's starting Mitchell Trubisky. So mm -hmm. you know what? Mm -hmm. You better hope that TJ Watt can come back quickly. Exactly. And obviously the Jets are the Jets. Yeah, the, the Jets are going to be the Jets. Mm -hmm. Exactly there. So, uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, the Steelers to uh, beat the Jets. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I'm taking the Steelers as well. Um, now the Jets are kind of surprising sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, who, what was it? Was it week two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, week two they came out and they uh, came back against the Browns. So they have the ability to surprise, and yeah. um, Joe Flacco is no slouch. But no, no I, I would be silly. Um, Buff says that they are the uh, sleeper pick of the week, which I can agree with. Um, I think it's either uh, the Jaguars or the Jets that would be the sleeper of the week. But we uh, shall see if the Jets can actually prove you right. Sure. All right, next up is another one that I'm concerned with. We have the Bills and the Ravens. Ooh, I'm this, scared of this, this game. This the game of the week. Game yeah, of the week I, I, I definitely think so. Going into it, just based on, on the paper, 100% yeah. this has potential to be game of the week. Yeah. Obviously, the Bills, they're coming off their uh, last second loss to the Dolphins there. Uh, they need to... Uh, need to improve their play calling there. I think um, it's a defensive injury issue with the Bills because they have a lot of people who are out or not playing at 100%. Their offense is still really hot and can still produce the way that they always do. Josh Allen is a tremendous QB, probably one of the top in the league. So mm -hmm. it's – and then my problem is I don't trust Baltimore's defense to contain – yeah. the offense of uh, Buffalo. So it's going to be a very like back and forth battle. And it's just going to be which defense can actually make a stand. It, all it takes is one. Because if it's going to be a shootout run out between Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen, yeah. then it, it's going to be a very high scoring game. Yeah. Because neither yeah. of these defenses are ones that I actually trust right now. Yeah. One because they're injured and one because they let Miami come back 35-14 late in the fourth. Sure. I am never exactly. going to forget that. I'm still mad. 
uh, for me, that's going to be a coin flip. And uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, Bill to uh, beat the Raven. I was afraid of that. Yeah, uh, that that's what Dad said, too. And mm -hmm. um, that's what others, I believe, in our, uh, mm -hmm. our season here said. I took the Ravens. Uh -oh. Yeah, I uh, I don't doubt the Bills for a second. I just yeah. their their injuries on defense make me a little bit leery mm -hmm. on taking them, especially when they lost to Miami because of that yeah. uh, last week. Now okay. I do not think that Baltimore can contain Josh Allen, but mm -hmm. I'm hoping that Buffalo can't contain Lamar Jackson even more. Mm -hmm. So. I'm I'm scared of this game, but those are my thoughts. Mm -hmm. This game also scares me, but more so just because I wasn't thinking mm -hmm. when I made my pick. Yeah. Uh, we have the Chargers and the Texans. Yeah, I uh, should have gone differently yeah. after knowing about the uh, defensive injuries. Yeah, obviously with the injuries there uh, to uh, not only Justin Herbert or to uh, both uh, in the that other guy there, uh, I well, forget. It, it wasn't Khalil Mack, was it? No, it's not Khalil Mack. Okay, good, good. So they still have a chance. Yeah. At least defensively, they still have a chance. Yeah, yeah. The question is, can the uh, Herbert's uh, ribs hold, hold up another game there? I really, really hope so. But at the same time, it might be worth actually sitting for a week just to make sure that you're good the rest of the year. Because if you play hurt all year, you're just going to be endangering yourself going forward. Exactly. Like, like you have to let yourself heal. Yeah. That's what worries me there about, about the Chargers right now. Mm -hmm. the, all the uh, all their injuries there. Uh, it could, could be a hampering there to, to the team there. Yeah, I agree. Especially losing Boza. I did not know about that when I made my pick because I took the Chargers. And had I known about Boza, I might have gone with... The upset pick on taking Houston, but, yeah. but I was yeah. ill informed. Yeah, so uh, I guess we'll split there because I took the Texans there. <sighs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah, we do. Great. All right, um, I think we're going to split on this next one as well because I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I followed my hunch, which you're supposed to do, uh -huh. but also I feel so horrible about it. Uh, we got the Cardinals and the Panthers. Yeah. 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 Uh, obviously, uh, I don't know what happened to Kyler Murray last week there. You know, He's Kyler there. Murray. Yeah. <laughs> that That's what happened. Yeah. And uh, I was I was hoping that uh, J.J. Watt would uh, be in uh, Jared Goff's face. I mean, uh, Matt Stafford's face. Mm. Well, from from what I was hearing on on the sports board, they they called Arizona's defense paper mm -hmm. because they they will fold and crumple really really mm -hmm. quickly, so they can't really uh, stop much of anybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as the offensive struggle, mm -hmm. Kyler Murray faced a very 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 strong defense with the ability to contain him, and if mm -hmm. you force him to put it in the air. Mm -hmm you're going to see those kinds of struggles because he's best when he's a Lamar Jackson-esque kind of QB where he can get out and run for it. You know, when he can call his own number is I think when he's actually best. So having the Rams contain him like they did wasn't really that big of a shock to me. Um, this week, I don't know how Carolina's defense is. Um, I'm more so trusting uh, not in Baker Mayfield. And my pick was Arizona. And you'll be happy about this. Uh, I agree with you on that oh, one. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised <laughs> because most everybody was going with Carolina on that one, I think. Uh, most of the pros anyway, because yeah. uh, Christian McCafferty is finally getting his legs under him yeah. and, and playing fairly well. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, I'm just going to go back to not trusting in Mayfield until he proves me otherwise. Yeah. So that's cool. I, I didn't expect to have an agreement on that one. All right, next up, we have the Patriots, who I believe will be starting Brian Hoyer. Yeah. Going to Green Bay. Yeah. Obviously, uh, the Patriots uh, took a big hit with uh, the loss of Mac Jones there at QB. Huge, huge loss. Yeah. So, pro probably be Hoyer's team there. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I believe I heard that uh, they're expecting a surgery for Mac mm-hmm. Jones. Yeah. So that's pretty much spelling an end to the season for him, unfortunately, if that is indeed the case. Yeah. And obviously, the, this is a bad time there because uh, they, they got to go, go into uh, Lambeau and take on Aaron Rodgers and the Packers coming off a huge uh, win, win last week against the, the Bucs there. Yeah, the the Bucks shot themselves in the foot uh, twice, I believe, at the end of that game. Yeah. And uh, that would have set them up to win by one, I believe, mm-hmm. had they not had those uh, delays and penalties. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that Tampa lost more than Green Bay won, especially considering the score was only 14 to 12. Yeah. So, yeah. like, eh, I don't know. I, I'm still not going to give a whole lot of credit to Green Bay on that particular game. But I do think that in this week... Uh, they'll have the advantage because they don't have Mac Jones to face. And so I think that with that defense, they can easily corral Brian Hoyer, and it'll be at home. So it's always an extra extra little boost. Yeah. So, I'm, so we're going to be in agreement and take the Packers. Yeah. Um, Buff, for some reason, in his picks, which um, I'll, I'll show all the picks later, mm-hmm. but he said that he went with the Patriots out of spite, okay. which sounds very familiar to me never going with the Bears because – Frick the bears, so <laughs> your favorite hashtag. Yeah, so we are uh, we're in agreement for the logic, but unfortunately not for the game. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Next up, we have an AFC West battle with the Raiders hosting the Broncos. Yeah, this one's going to be a be a huge uh, divisional game here. Yeah, this will prove whether or not Russell Wilson actually has his wits about him now. Like, he did fine last week, Mm -hmm. but it also wasn't very, like, explosive. Like, outside of that, like, final drive or whatever, he really wasn't the Russell Wilson of old that everybody was, like, clamoring over. So this would be a really good test for him Mm -hmm. against a um, a struggling, I don't know how to finish team that is the Raiders. Yeah, exactly there. Yeah, and the question is, uh, can uh, Derek Carr there uh, come back from a huge, huge loss against the Titans there? I will say that they, they did fairly well against Tennessee for what it was. Um, so they, they only lost by two, which is really, really good considering who they were facing. But they've they've been struggling with finishing games. Like when they're up, they can't, which I definitely know uh, from experience with Detroit, they never knew how to finish games then either. So it's it's always hard to see when you're not yeah. in it. True. So I, I think this one's going to be a real close game. Uh, I think I'm going to try try something different now. Take the Raiders to uh, beat the Broncos. I I agree. I just I personally don't trust uh, Russell Wilson uh, at this particular stage with his new team. We always say to Hey Dale. Hi. Disagreement. Mm-hmm. Do you like Russ's mm-hmm. cooking? Because I, quite frankly, I'm not impressed. <laughs> no comment. Okay. On the bird. Thank you. Anyway, I uh, I don't really trust him in the whole let Russ cook thing. He doesn't really seem to be cooking very well. So mm-hmm. I'm uh, taking the Raiders and just hoping that they can actually hold on. And I'm hoping that mm-hmm. it won't be a close game. I'm expecting more of a spread. Because they they need a decisive win, and what better way to get it than in a divisional rival game? All right, this one I'm terrified of as well. We move on to Sunday Night Football with uh, the Chiefs, also from the West, and the Bucks with the rumor that this will be played in Minnesota because of uh, Hurricane Ian that is making landfall probably as we speak. Yeah, well, well, we won't know the... The location of the game till pro- probably probably around Friday or Saturday there. Yeah, and so I mean, if it is going to be in Minnesota, that's going to be quite the travel. But also, sure. it makes a lot more sense. Like they had a rumor, I think, that it was going to go to Miami, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because it's still like right next to the Ark mm-hmm. of Ian. So yeah, no, we'll wait and see. Yeah, this one, this one was the last game uh, that I picked there because. Uh, I mean, it's a coin flip there because of uh, two quarterbacks there. Uh, oh, same. 
same. I, I picked this one last as well because it was a, uh, for me anyway, which team and, and QB is going to bounce back and react to a loss better. So that was kind of my whole trying to puzzle it out aspect. Um, I probably got it wrong, but you know what? Yeah, who's to say? Nothing, yeah. nothing ventured, nothing gained. So. What question is, can the Chiefs recover from that huge uh, loss to the Colts there? Well, and that's that's kind of the point with that is like, will they be able to have that kind of bounce back uh, anger that you need to have a rebound game? And now yeah. having a rebound game against someone like Tom Brady and mm -hmm. his, his offense, who should have Mike Evans back now, so one can hope, yay. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. It's going to be a tough matchup, I think, for both teams. Yeah. Well, uh, with me there, I think I'm going to go with the uh, Fox to uh, beat, beat the Chiefs. We didn't split. Yay. We didn't split. Yay. Yay. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm taking Tampa because I think that uh, Brady plays better when he's mad. And, yeah. and anytime that you can kind of get an offended Karen out of Tom Brady, he'll always be a lot better on the field because he's always – very fiery and he's impassioned and he bounces back from loss better than almost anybody that I've seen play the game. So you rarely see him on a losing skid. Mm -hmm. And so I think that while this is a very tough game and I could see it going either way, it was the last one that I wrote down. I'm taking Tampa uh, technically at home, but it won't be at home. Uh, yeah. Just, just yeah. because I just think that he's a better at bouncing back. Now, I do think uh -huh. that the Chiefs are better, but I'm taking a bit of a risk and the uh -huh. upset. Yeah, there we go. All right, and our last game of the week is the Monday night game, an NFC West battle. The Rams at the 49ers, who they have historically not been that great against. Yeah. This, this one's a, gr a great uh, NFC West division game there. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. You know, with, uh, this will be an important test for uh, Jimmy G there. It will. It will. Um, I know that he did okay last year against them. Um, mm -hmm. But after his performance against Denver, I I don't know if I can trust it anymore. And after I said I was trusting Jimmy mm -hmm. GQ, I don't really know if it's worth trusting this time. Yeah. It'll be difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and... Uh, Rams obviously coming off a huge uh, win against the Cardinals, like we discussed earlier. Yep. So, what you thinking? Oh, this one's too tough to call there. Uh, I think I'm going to trust the Rams offense and uh, go upset the Niners. Yeah, I, I agree. It's For me, it's only an upset because of the history, or the recent history anyway. Mm -hmm. But I, they're just a really powerful team. Uh, in my opinion, uh, even on the road. So I'm I'm trusting uh, Stafford and mm -hmm. the Aaron Donald effect and all of that. So hopefully yeah. Jimmy GQ doesn't come back and actually yeah. perform well in the week that I don't choose him. Yeah, him, him and uh, Debo Samuels. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. Um, I know that that is a split game for... Mm -hmm. uh, us and the others. So so here are the picks for everybody else since we're on this uh, train anyway. Oh. There we go. So y'all can take a look at those, compare them to ours, compare them to your own, and let us know down in the comments below who you yeah. think will be the game of the week. Um, I'm still aligning with the Bills and the Ravens. I think that's going to be a fantastic yeah. game. Yeah. Agreeable. Yeah. Oh, man, what a week. Yeah. We got five splits between me and you. Okay, that's not as bad as the week three, so we should mm -hmm. be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still slightly concerned. Yeah. Because uh, we have a three-way tie for second, as mentioned earlier. So it's mm -hmm. going to be very interesting to see how uh, the standings shake out for uh, week five coming up. But uh, anything else that you'd like to say before we wrap this thing up? Uh, obviously, uh, tell people to hit the like and the subscribe and turn on the notification bell for all, all uh, future uh, versus segments here. Yeah, thank you. Um, that would be very appreciated. Also, down in the description, you will find 
the entire standings um, as well. I don't really know why I do that, to be fair, because I have them on the layout, but also it kind of helps fill out the description a little bit, and I like to keep everything neat and orderly and uh, cross-checked. So our standings will be down there. Uh, links to my Twitter, my Discord, and the like will be down there as well. Um, merch, membership, super thanks, whatever. Well, YouTube's been telling me that I need to start telling people about super thanks, and I'm just like, but that's asking for money, though, and so I'd rather, like, not, but the button's there. We unlocked it a while ago. If you'd like to use it, I won't complain. I'm not going to ask you to, but it's there. Well, so, uh... Yeah, basically, thanks for watching. Uh, we will catch you next week for week five of the NFL predictions versus uh, let us know whose team you're on, I guess, would be a good way to put it. Like, mm -hmm. who who are you rooting for in this uh, in this season? Mm -hmm. I will completely understand if it's not me because of my hatred for certain teams. <clears throat> but <laughs> let us know. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy the series. And we'll catch you next time for more. Thank you. I'll see you next week.